Well, thanks so much for watching Making Healthcare Work for You, Different Perspectives and Empowering Solutions. I'm Stephanie Fields, joined by my co-host, Dr. Porv Gupta, and we're talking about our interview with Valinda Rutledge, who is the Chief Corporate Affairs Officer at Upstream, which sounds like it's going to be something totally different than what we're talking about, but it's not. It's about really prescription management. And Porv, you and I were just having a conversation between the interview and this recap about how important the interviews that we do are because it's not about this business or promoting this particular thing. We're talking to people who are really entrenched in the field, but really are making a difference in healthcare. And Valinda, I, I can't think of many that are doing more from passion than her. She has a clinical background and then she's gone through all kinds of high level positions and worked in value based care for a very long time. And now she's at Upstream, but she's so passionate about helping patients with prescriptions. And between you and I, we were just talking about, you know, um, one that I didn't mention to you years ago, I was prescribed a migraine medication and it was $300 for nine pills. Hard pass. I, I'm out on that. I don't need that. I will suffer. And I mean, for somebody who gets migraines to be like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to take that migraine over the $300, you know, that's terrible. But there's so many complicated things about taking prescriptions and how it really impacts your life. And so I love when you and I have interviews and we talk to people like Valinda who are truly change makers. And we know that we're able to then put this show on the air and have people who, whether you're in a position that you're, you know, a business to business consumer, or if you're just a regular person, you know, regular person, we're all healthcare consumers. And so that's what stands out to me that. In our interviews, we talk to these people that there's always something to take away from. And Valinda talked so much about the importance of talking to the people and making that connection with them because it really comes down to life or limb when you're not taking prescriptions. I compared it to healthcare roulette. And she she said diabetes. She looks forward to five years when they're able to say, we've been able to reduce blindness, reduce uh, amputations. And that's what I said. It's life and limb. And when you stop taking things based on a visceral reaction to, I, it doesn't make me feel good. I, this isn't having the reaction or not knowing what this does. And you stop taking it because you can't afford it. So it's either a physical pain or a pain to pay for, you know, sometimes these people don't understand fully, like she said, you know, they just stopped taking that and had no idea that that was a medication that was for this very important thing. Nobody takes the time or has the time to really talk through those things. And so it, the service that they offer to be able to go to these patients and have these conversations and help them understand and then say, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that that was making you feel horrible. Wow, how can we fix this? Or you know what? That is an outrageously expensive medication. Let's see what we can get you that might achieve the same result without the side effects and that's far more cost effective. So I loved everything about this. I love the work that we're doing talking to these people. It makes me very happy. Apoor, what what are you thinking? Yeah, it's uh, I, I I love hearing you talk about it, Stephanie, <laughs> because I could see the. You know, my husband would tell you I like to hear myself talk yes, too. <laughs> it mean, well, it means so much to you, and it means so much to us, right? Which is why we have our show, and it's not just about you know two talking heads with uh, you know entertaining some guests. It's really about how do we make healthcare work. And Valinda Rutledge is clearly an example of how to make healthcare work. It's stuff that really matters. It matters to her, it matters to the, her company, but it matters to the patients. Our, our consumers who are gonna be able to hear this show, will everybody will be able to relate to this as you and I do. We're not Everybody's even a patient. in the demographic. We're all a patient. We're not even in the demographic that uh, Upstream is targeting, but we can all understand how complicated it is to manage medications. Even for myself, I'm only on a couple of pills, but it's so hard because they're, the refills for them are not synchronized. So now I've got to remember and make two trips to the uh, pharmacy and pick it up. And then, you know, ultimately, I know I'm not as good at uh, at taking the meds every day as I should be. A poor background, you know, that you 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 have, right? So everybody, we can all Take relate. Take those medications. Exactly. We all we all you know can can uh, use the help and the support. Uh, everybody knows this information, but how do we process and implement this information? That's the most important thing, especially when you're an older demographic and you're struggling with multiple comorbidities and ten to fifteen medications. How to, how challenging is it to manage all of that? 
So the, the, the key factor here, Stephanie, is something you were saying earlier, which is time. No one has the time to spend with you to actually review all of the different meds you're on and what is the challenges you're having with that. So Upstream is providing a model for that. They're actually providing the pharmacists who are really motivated, interested, knowledgeable, that are willing to spend the time with you one-on-one -on -one and help you really understand what is it you're taking? Why are you taking it? What is the side effect profile of it? What is the cost profile of it? What is preventing you from actually taking the meds properly? And hopefully that will make an impact. They're starting to see some short-term impact, as Valinda was saying. And you know, the exciting thing is maybe the long-term impact, uh, life and limb, as you were calling it, that we might be able to see five years, 10 years from now. Hopefully they'll be doing this as big enough scale that we'll be able to see that impact that ultimately when you manage the medications better through better patient information and an engagement, then long-term outcomes improve as well. So it's really exciting. Maybe we're truly, truly upstream. That's what their name implies, that they're trying to make the impact at a point where it can actually make a difference. And so we'll have to kind of wait and see what some of the downstream effects are, uh, but it's a very promising model that they've set up. It's amazing. She was so great to talk to. And I felt like there was something for everyone in this one. So please be sure to go back and watch that if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh.